bait fish. Don't worry about the cuda. I just got a sardine. You know, when I fish down here in Florida, I have my personal boat that I use, um, both for television and also for family and taking friends out. And one thing that uh, I've tried to have, and I've had a couple boats, is a boat that I call naked. What I mean by naked is there's no uh, gunwales with lots of rod storage and everything. The boats are all fiberglass. They have maximum walkability around the boat. No T-top, no bimini top. So I just put lots of suntan lotion. I tell that for people. Put hats on and, you know, in the proper wear, different shirts, long sleeve and stuff, buffs. But the reason I do that is because you have lots of room. You can concentrate on fishing. They're very easy to clean by the end of the day. But I find that if you have bad shoes that are flat bottom, or if uh, you started getting fish in the boat and it's slimy, or the boat gets wet, the fiberglass can get very slippery. So I do a couple of things. I wear these shoes that are called Leguano, and it's German technology. Um, it's called barefoot technology. So it almost feels like you're barefoot. I'd love to be barefoot in Florida when it's like 80 to 90 degrees out. But they're very safe to walk on because they have like these little studs on the bottom and give you a really good grip. The other thing that I've done, because I don't like to make noise, especially if I'm fishing in shallow water, I want the people that are in the boat to be comfortable. I have the vigorous, they're called spike mats and also cushions in the boat. So I take those off all the time. I don't like leaving any kind of material in the boat because the sun can be really hard on it. So I have the actual front casting platform is like a big mat of the spike material and also wherever anybody's sitting. So I find a combination of those not just makes it really comfortable, but very safe when you're fishing. This may seem like heavy leader material, but when you're fishing in salt water for big, heavy fish, especially those that have teeth, 60 pound is almost on the lighter side. Sometimes we'll use 80 and even over 100 pound fluorocarbon leader. Now, the leader that I'm using here, this is called Suffix, and it's one of the strongest and hardest. It has a really good abrasion resistant. And I tie a couple of knots to connect it to my main line, which is usually braid or lighter uh, monofilament material. So what I've got here, you can see one of the rods are set up and you can see the connection knot. So what I've done is taken my lighter and I get out of the wind and I actually melt the tip of the fluorocarbon so I get a little bit of a teardrop. Once I've got the teardrop, then I use a uni knot and you can see that here, just the braid is flared a little bit. I use a uni knot, that's what all these wraps are right here. And the fluorocarbon is at this end. There's, you can see the little stub. Using a good quality fluorocarbon is important, but also knowing how to make the connection. So either use a swivel if you're gonna be bottom fishing, so that's an easy connection. But I suggest that if you're gonna make a line-to-line -line connection like braid to heavy fluorocarbon, melt the tip of the fluorocarbon, use a uni knot, tighten it up really tight, and you'll catch fish and it'll go through the guides, no problem. Now, do you want to be a hero and land this on your own, like Macho, or do you want me to help you? I would much rather have you help me, buddy. Okay, okay, no problem. I got the controls, okay? This is like on watching TV. I got the power right here. Did I tell you? There's always things. I got it. Let me make, let me take this off. Mike the hero. <laughs> Come here, not, you little... not as easy, right? Plus you got a, a line there. Don't fall in, okay? Good one. You got the line and everything. What's the length it's got to be, Italo? Uh, Is... Tip of the snout to the tip of the tail, 24 inches. Tip of the tail, not the, not the crotch? Yeah, not the fork. Tip of the tail. 26 and a half. It's in the box. You're that right there. That one's for daddy-o. Perfect. 